I only fantasize of seeing. Natural light, of course. I have plenty of artificial illumination in this place. No light ever reaches the lower recesses here. Simply put, I am trapped. I always have been. Never before have I ever seen, felt, or sensed even a single stroke of genuine light. I am stuck here. Deadlocked. But I innovate. If I can't see natural sunlight, I'll create it. <laughs> However, there are always the ones who are forcing me to stay in this place. Call them. They took whatever I enjoyed in life and shredded it. The simple will to see the outside world keeps their eyes locked on me for however long. soul during my sleep. There, they are again. They're here to soil my life more than it already is. Every day, they put me through what is called testing. A creature so called beautiful and rare apparently secretes cures and remedies for the pitiful race performing these cruel tests. How I desire to have been born a cat, a dog, Perhaps even a flea. Any of the lives of these animals would have been far more rewarding than the life of a dragon. Each day I try to expect the unexpected, yet they still get the best of me. The first time I was introduced to this chamber, I was awed by the display of flasks, beakers, and very pointy things I had entitled them at the time. I now realize these pointy things are nothing to sneeze at. Even the dullest scalpel is something to be feared. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. Much! Maybe this will teach you not to bite the hand that feeds you! <laughs> nice try, you giant rat. I know all of your pathetic little tricks. Don't be cruel, Sand. Nonsense! I'm new at this, so let me do what I like. Where am I? I can't see anything. Is anybody there? Anyone? What's wrong with me? What happened? 
every day, every fearful, loathing day. I hate her. No other way to put it. You would indefinitely hate something that puts you through painful tests day by day. And this is why I have planned an escape. To get far from this place. To live in peace. Where I am not tortured ruthlessly. After I am through with everyone, I will have a face none of them will fail to forget. So you're just going to attack them the next time they try and test you? They're stronger than you. You'll get yourself killed! What else can I do? I hate it here. But nothing's made it out of here before. You'll get caught. The toughest dragon in here tried to escape, but even he failed. We haven't seen him since. But he never used his head, Jade. Sure, he was tough. But it'll take a lot more than strength to get out of here. Pearl, I wouldn't do this if I wasn't 100% sure it was going to work. You're only saying that. You only want to get out of here. And so do all of us. But you can't do risky things that could get you killed. Sometimes, I'd rather be killed than stay in this dump. Pearl, listen to her. Maybe, just maybe, she could make it out of here. But what if we never see you again because of this? You know how sneaky they are. They always get the best of us. Just, just do your best. Hey, check this guy out. Hmm? What about him? He looks fine to me. Idiot, we're supposed to be watching him. He's been way too uh, sneaky around here recently. Oh, yeah. Now quit your yapping and stare at him, like a hawk. Or a really creepy person. Moron. I've collected everything. Data, information. Everything that I could possibly need for the escape. I have stashed everything in the corners of my quarters. And even into the walls. This will be the last I review these notes before I proceed to find a... a partner for the job. A partner is crucial for this to be executed correctly. I set off immediately through cracks in the wall. Ah, what's he doing now? All he's doing is pouring around in the corner over there. You need to be more observant. Check it out. Uh... Oh, now I get it. He's getting away. Don't just sit there. But uh, I was just getting comfortable. I managed to escape unnoticed. Possibly. They shouldn't give me issues. Eventually, I hear screaming. Something has obviously gone wrong, as every animal is either unconscious or is wearing a mask. What are you doing? Stop it! Stop this at once! You could be seriously injured like this! You... you horrible dragon! I'm calling for backup. You will not get away with this. And when I'm back, you will not have any decent privileges. Not that I gave you privileges, but you get what I mean! This may be an easier search than I had originally planned. No! What do you want? I am simply in need of assistance. We each share the same goals. To be rid of this prison. However, I will need more than one mind. And you will do well. Maybe I could tag along. And united create a lasting impression on the souls who maimed our existence. I don't have time for this. Just come- We cannot be hasty about this though. We will need some time to prepare.
Let me show you something. Nice. All you can say about this is nice. Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, do you see this? This is the key to our escape. The electricity and everything powered in this chasm can all be extracted and used to our advantage. And where do you suppose that's coming from? Are you blind? Just ignorant. Of both, even. You seem to carry both qualities. Anyway, my species are masters of electricity, as is your species. The only exception being you are exceedingly less dexterous. Now, I'll show you just how powerful electricity can be.